Hey, what's up? Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Thank you again for watching this quick short video. We're going to be talking about some spray guns here that I have accumulated over the years. And uh, maybe if you're on a budget, what you may want to get started with. And if you're a little advanced or you have the money, what guns are the best guns you may want to start with. All right, so in back of me here, we have uh, a series of guns. Um, let's go ahead and start with the old school. All right, this is an old school gravity feed, not a gravity feed, a siphon feed, okay, where a siphon feed means there's a, like a little straw inside, hold on, okay, this straw is what sucks up your material from your canister here, they call it a siphon feed, these are old school, uh, popular brands back in the day were like Binks and stuff like that. But, I mean, they work good, you know, they're not high volume, low pressure or anything, but they're still good for primer guns today. Some guys still use them, the old school guys, uh, to paint cars. But they're good, I still use this one today to actually prime, okay? Then as we get into the, more, the newer technologies, something called high volume, low pressure had evolved. Now, high volume, low pressure, usually, you know, these guns are gravity fed, which means you put your materials in up top, okay? and the gravity feeds it down into the neck and then you could spray out. All right, the gravity feed guns. These are the most common ones and what I recommend you should get started with with your projects, okay? Now this one is a finish line series by uh, Devil Biss here. Finish line series. Um, I paid about 160 bucks for this setup here. Not a bad gun. It's, you know, mid-class. It's not top of the line. It's not the crappiest brand, but it works pretty well, okay? Uh, when painting base coat, clear coat, or enamels and stuff, you want to use at least a 1.3 to 1.4 nozzle size tip. Okay, that's that's all you really need to know when painting. Okay, uh, if you want to get more expensive, okay, we got something called Sada Jet. Sada, I'm sure you heard about Sada before. Uh, this is a Sada Jet RP Digital, where you got the digital gauge here. Very very nice gun. Uh, it's like the Rolls Royce of spray guns. So if you spray with this and you're spraying with a cheap gun like a star here. This thing is made in Taiwan, it's a star. I think this is like one of the first guns I bought when I was about 13 years old. It's an Astro Star. I don't even know if they make them anymore, but this is the original gun. I don't use it anymore, as you can see, we got some surface rust on it, but this is the original Star Astro that I started painting cars with. I think I paid about 100 bucks for it, and this is it right here, okay? and it still did the job, all right? So you can practice, start off cheap practice. As you get better, you get guns like these. Okay, so you got the Sada Jet, all right? And they also have uh, the Mini Sada Jet here. It's a little dirty, I uh, haven't used it in a while, but Mini Sada Jet, good for little touch-ups, door jams and stuff like that. We got a little Sada Jet here, okay? Then we also have another popular brand, Japanese made, uh, Iwata. Iwata Japanese made gun, very very good quality, top notch spray gun, alright, uh, about the same price as a Sada if you're looking to get one, uh, about five to six hundred dollars US, okay, and we also have the little Iwata, this is another Iwata W100, it's a little touch up gun, you can see we got the canister here, but the cool thing about this gun is, if you're going to be shooting downward, you could actually move your spray can. All right, if you're going to be shooting upward, you could move it up like this, tighten it up, or on an angle, you know, if you're doing under a car or something, and you, you actually got the cup, you could level it out and, and paint underneath. It's a pretty cool touch-up gun, and uh, it's good to add to your collection once you start becoming uh, more into it, you know what I mean? So, another good gun here. And uh, we also have, here is like a, a small, another small touch-up gun, but it's a very, very cheap type. Uh, this is like you buy these cases, you'll get like three in a box for about a hundred bucks or less. And um, good for touch-ups. Like I said, if you're starting out and you don't have the money, you're on a budget, go ahead and get the cheap ones. It'll be okay for just starting, all right? Um, if you have some problems painting, it may be the gun. You know, it depends. Sometimes the quality are, is better from some Chinese manufacturers to other Chinese manufacturers. Sometimes you run into problems. But we don't know until we get the gun and test it out, all right? But if you want to go good from the beginning, I really recommend Devil Biss is a great middle line gun, okay? They got 
finish line series. They got a whole bunch of series that you can choose from. And then if you want to go high grade, top notch, you know, BMW, Rolls Royce type of style, we got Sada Jet and Iwata. Pretty good guns. All right, so I hope you learned a little bit about spray guns today. We cover more information on this within the VIP member course at LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. We show you exactly how to set the guns up, how to start painting your projects, and uh, cover everything about auto body and paint. So if you're looking to get into it as a hobby or serious profession, check out LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. We have a free 85-page ebook. If you put your name and your email in, go to the site. We'll send you an 85-page ebook to your email address absolutely free. It's full of information, and I'm sure you will like it. Also, we may have an area where you can get a free 30-minute MP3 of a, a private VIP behind the scenes call that we do monthly for our VIP members. So we're going to give you 30 minutes for free. Check it out. It's full of content on all auto body stuff. I hope you enjoy it. Again, please rate the video. Comment below. If you're on the blog, comment. If you're on YouTube, comment. Share it. On Facebook, share it. Thank you. I hope this kind of gave you some insight and I'll see you at LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Thanks. Bye-bye.